Hello everyone, I'm Day Weather Meteorologist Don Day with your Weather Slant subscriber update for this December 4th, 2019. We have one minor storm early to talk about. Colder next week, but the coldest air is going to go just to our east. Long term though, it looks cold and occasionally stormy. I'm afraid to say beginning the week of December 16th and perhaps through that busy travel period through Christmas and New Year's, wintry weather over a large part of the nation, but here in the west will be likely. Here's our 10-day precipitation forecast. Good news for the West Coast in California. The Sierra Nevada and the Pacific Northwest Mountains going to continue to see their snowpack build. We'll see cooler, wet weather down here. More snow coming to the northern Great Lakes, New England. These areas here, a lot of that's going to be lake effect snow. Along the immediate front range of Colorado, Wyoming, the adjacent high plains, we really don't have any heavy precipitation coming. We're in a little bit of a break, but as you can see... We're going to do well in the mountains, Utah's mountains, Colorado, Wyoming's mountains, Idaho mountains, Montana mountains. While the plains don't see a lot of snow, the mountain snowpack will continue to grow. Here's your snowfall forecast for that same 10-day period, and you can see the higher elevations of the west will continue to see the snowpack get some snow. We continue to see the northern plains and the Great Lakes up into here. That snow is going to build on top of what has fallen in the past week. So snow is starting to build up and it's likely going to stay put. Now let's take a look at the colder weather that's coming next week. want to highlight for you that it does look like it'll be along and east of the Continental Divide where the coldest air is going to spill into the northern plains and Great Lakes. This is by next Tuesday and Wednesday. Those areas really going to get cold, while here in the west, we kind of get a glancing blow with the cold, but the severe cold, thankfully, at least this round, goes to our east. You can really see it if we were to take a look at the 5,000-foot temperatures by next Wednesday. Look at all of that purple and green. This is some really cold weather. So you're going to hear about this in the news. Next week, the Midwest and the Great Lakes really, really going to get cold. Lake effect snows will develop as we'll see a lot of lake effect snows as that Arctic air pours over a lot of the open waters that still exist in the Great Lakes. The western states catch the edge of the cold air, but we don't take a direct hit. Nonetheless, it's still going to be a little bit on the chilly side looking ahead in the next week. Long term, though, we're worried about some of that cold air coming our way. Now, this is the jet stream by next Sunday and into Monday. And you can see the dip in the jet stream because high pressure building along the West Coast always means a cold weather pattern for North America. Here is the vortex of cold. Now, I wouldn't call this a true polar vortex, but I think what we're seeing here is sort of what's to come later this winter. This pocket of very cold air gets to south and penetrates pretty darn far south into the nation's midsection by next Wednesday and Thursday. Going out a little bit further, this shows us that the cold really goes in and bottles up over the Great Lakes, New England, East Coast, even down here. We're going to see cold air penetrating, while in the western United States, it's more of a Pacific flow of air for the early to middle parts of next week. So, this immediate area here kind of dodging the bullet from the worst cold, at least in the short term. But if we were to go out, this is the 16th. We start to see a pattern evolving where high pressure wants to start to build up along the West Coast in the Gulf of Alaska. Again, are you starting to see that shape there? That's going to allow colder air to penetrate further west. And this vortex here of really cold air over Hudson Bay is likely going to kind of push south may drift a little bit more west. We really need to keep an eye on this. You see this little spoke here, this little spoke here. These are little waves that go around the polar vortex here that can send shots of Arctic air south into the nation as they get rotated around that Arctic air. And with high pressure continues to build here, well, what this means is starting the week of December 16th and leading up into New Year's, if this pattern holds, most of the lower 48 states will be cold come Christmas week and New Year's week. Let's take a look at your 30-day outlook. You can see the 30-day outlook through the 17th of January is showing most of North America, green and blue, colder than normal. Now, one thing we think about here is what we're seeing with the pattern. This is from the European computer model that was run earlier this week. We feel that there's probably too much cold here in the west, and the cold may be more centered in this area here. We'll have to see what evolves. But the message 
through the next 30 days is that most of North America is going to average colder than average temperatures. Precipitation wise, we think this is a bit of an error as well. We think it'll be wetter here and also probably this green area here will be a little bit more expansive in an area like this. So the message that we see long term, colder than normal, probably higher average amounts of snow as well. This will be especially true from the second week of December into the first week of the new year. So keep the jackets, the mittens, and the gloves handy. Enjoy the relative break we have in the severe cold now. And for anybody that's got friends, family in this part of the nation here and this part of the nation here, they need to get ready for severe cold here in the week ahead. Snowfall-wise, here's your forecast that takes you out to the 17th of January. You can see snowfall is extensive and expected over a large part of the nation as we go through the next 45 days. Thanks for watching, and don't forget the Day Weather Podcast, updated Monday through Fridays. Go to dayweatherpodcast.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Talk to you next.